Yo, so what's going on guys? It's your boy Laser Gaming. Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys another three awesome glitches and tricks currently working on GTA 5 online after all the latest patches. As always, if you guys do want to enjoy the video and you do want to see more videos like this in the future, do be sure to show support for like down below. Feel free to subscribe if you guys are new. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so as I'm sure all of you guys are aware, Rockstar Games released a epic DLC earlier this week called the Bikers DLC. And ever since this DLC, came out you can't lie every single motherfucker is rolling around on a bike so it only made sense for me to include a motorcycle glitch slash trick in this video and this is just a crazy random glitch i have no words to explain what it is but you'll basically be able to walk through solid objects so if we had to actually use a word in the real life terms for this glitch it's probably something like dematerializing because you're dematerializing the object or even quantum tunneling <laughs> pretty crazy words i know you can go ahead and google those words and find out the definition it's always like a bunch of glitches and bugs when rockstar do bring out new vehicles and this one is with the brand new gargoyle motorbike now i have been getting reports on my actual video when i showcased this bike of people not falling off the bike and i actually had a crew member earlier today tell me the same thing he said he was just wheeling on this gargoyle bike down the road crashing into walls into cars and he would not fall off the bike now, I actually thought this was a feature to do with the bike. However, what actually seems to be the case is the bike is just really buggy and glitchy to fuck. So not only will you not be able to fall off it at certain points, but as you guys can clearly see, you can immerse yourself amongst objects within GTA 5 Online. So as I'm sure most of you guys will know, if you drive into a pole while on a motorbike, your body will just crash off it and you'll fall off the bike. However, on this gargoyle, you literally just go through the object. So you can take some crazy and glitched out snap mic pictures of half of your body in the stop sign. And unfortunately, you can't take selfies like I tried to whilst on a motorbike. However, if you do have a friend online, I can see this being used for some awesome snap mic pictures. And if you do end up using it, do be sure to tag me in any pictures on twitter at laser gaming all my social media links will be down below in the description however as you guys can clearly see as soon as i get off my bike and try to walk through the pole this is not a glitch with the pole this is a glitch with the gargoyle just proving that i still can't walk through it when not on the bike however as soon as i get back on the bike bang my body's walking through the pole okay so moving on to the second glitch in this video now all of you guys that play gta 5 back on the last gen or even really early on next gen you will know that back in the day we used to be able to open the back of the titan and get in it as you guys can see me doing on screen i'm currently in the back of the titan where you used to be able to access but for some reason rockstar took this feature out of the game and i know it pissed off a lot of people as it used to be a really good feature within the game just to do a bunch of crazy stunts and mess around with online however using this little glitch slash trick you are going to be able to access the back of the titan as you guys can see on screen now it's extremely easy easy to do so all of you guys will be able to do this straight away okay so to do this glitch all you guys want to do is go ahead and open the door to the titan as you can see me doing on screen once you guys have opened the door you want to get your friend to stand right here as i'm doing on screen and then start meleeing right in the corner into the door as you can see me doing now now from here you guys basically want to press y once your friend is melee in that corner to get inside of the titan and you guys will notice as you guys are walking in towards the titan he will literally just punch your character into the titan now from here as you guys can see i'm glitched out standing in between the titan now from here you have to just walk backwards at the back of the titan and as you guys can see you'll be glitched out in the back of the titan guys in 2016 and it is exactly how it used to be when you get in the back so your friend can get in the driver's seat and take you for a drive obviously you've got to do some madness to keep your balance as like back in the day if you guys remember your body will start sliding and glitching all over the place as you guys can see right now however i do know a bunch of you guys that watch my videos do like to put together little rockstar editor movies or take some cool staff mag pictures so if you guys do go ahead and get in the back of here do be sure to tag me in the picture or the video on twitter at laser gaming come and follow me if you ain't already now moving into the third and final glitch in this video and you guys that are active viewers on my channel you'll know last week i did upload an epic unlimited money making method that all of you guys seem to really really like nonetheless in that video i did actually record the intro to it in this actual mansion you can see me walking around now and this is actually the mansion that you're able to purchase with franklin in story mode once you completed the game because i was still confused why do i got so many comments asking where the hell am i and not only did a lot of you guys have no idea where i was but the guys that did know where i was you guys were like how the hell do i get in there during free roam so i thought it only made sense since i put that video up a few days ago that i go ahead and show you guys how to get inside franklin's mansion 
Okay, so this wall breach glitch is extremely easy to do. I guarantee 100% of you guys will be able to do this straight away. I have known tons of different methods on how to get inside here. However, this is by far the easiest. I have a 100% success rate and I'm sure you guys will too. So the first thing you guys want to do is head over to Franklin's Mansion. It's at the location you can see on screen right now. It's right next to the apartment called Wild Oaks, which came out the executives and other criminals. Right next to a big lake, a very obvious spot. Now, once you guys arrive at Franklin's Mansion, you want to go down to the bottom floor as you guys can see me doing on screen right in front of the swimming pool and you want to press rb up against the window of franklin's bedroom so you could basically see your character's reflection in the mirror in the bedroom as you can see on screen right now now once you guys have done that pull off your phone and simply accept any job from martin so i'm going to slightly forward this part of the gameplay but as you guys can see once you guys are in any job from martin just go through the menu and keep on flicking left and right throughout all the options so keep on changing the radio station the number of rounds team balancing just do this for about 20 to 40 seconds so as you guys can see i'm doing it on rhino hunt 3 this also works with missions so once you guys have done that for about 20 to 40 seconds you just simply want to back out and that is the glitch done boys you guys will notice as soon as you back out from this menu you'll be spawned inside franklin's mansion it is literally as easy as that now most of you guys should know already but if you don't this is a god mode invincibility wall breach it's a bit obvious because it's so big and detailed you can only ever get killed by wall breaches that you're limited for your space so if it's right next to the wall or the window there may be an rpg or a rock it will kill you but as long as you guys are like two meters away from that you'll never be able to get killed but like i said it's so big and so detailed if you really just want to get completely out of sight from any players around you you could just go near the stairways that leads to the downstairs and no one will be able to see you no one will be able to kill you with any rpgs whatsoever and like i did mention earlier you can shoot out of these windows i'm going to prove this to you now as you guys can see my friend is outside on the balcony he had no idea how i got in here and as you guys can see he's shooting me with shotguns he even pulls out the big boy minigun and he still can't lace me with one single bullet so it really is the perfect wall breach to use to troll some of your friends and have some jokes online also use it to take some cool snapmatic pictures or use it as like a rockstar editor movie scene so just having access to different areas like this gives you guys so much more potential and like i said earlier if you guys do want links showing you how to get inside any building on gta 5 online during free roam just leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to link you to the video however that is going to do it for me guys if this video has helped you out in any way shape or form and you'd like to see me post more videos like this do be sure to drop a like down below feel free to subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in my next video